I'm in a very centered place in life at the moment. I've got that street ownership book here at the moment, at the back of me, um, from Jocko Wernick. I've had a few interesting events happen over the last couple of weeks. Some of them through personal communication, relationships with friends that have kind of, you know, broken down and kind of gone to the wayside, which has been um, hurtful, but also been something that I haven't been surprised of. I think in my journey across life, I've been quite fortunate to have, you know, for the most part, isolate myself from people, right? I've probably stepped back from, you know, speaking to some people or I've taken a step away or I've kind of purposely excommunicated myself, ex myself so I wouldn't be hurt in any kind of way or wouldn't be ignored. But now I've kind of reached a point in life where somehow that's kind of happening to me, right? People are purposely not speaking back to me or not reaching back out or going out of their way to, you know, delete me on social media accounts and block me and stuff. And it's like, whoa, all right, fair enough. Now I know at least where I stand, which I guess is better than nothing, isn't it? Sometimes when you get people ignoring you and you're trying to check up on them or, you know, trying to connect and stuff, it can be annoying. But when they just outright say, you know what, I'm not talking to you anymore, I think it kind of, at least you know exactly where you stand. It's a bit hurtful it's a bit brutal but at least you know i think i've mentioned it a few times on here you don't really get that in friendships do you you don't usually in relationships you break up but you don't really break up in friendships it's not really a thing that you do it's just something that you kind of grow apart in but sometimes you can get a surprise you're just like boom wow i can't message this person anymore so you realize oh shit i've been blocked which has been in you know, a bit of a surprising thing but you know um one of those things that you can't really take too personally um even though it is a personal thing it's quite personal because they went directly to your name click block and said fuck you forever um but I think for the most part, I take full responsibility for it, I would say. I would say that in some way, shape or form, it is my fault. I can't really, you know, try to understand what the other side is thinking or how they got to that decision. Because I think, you know, I don't think I'm that bad of a dude. But I guess in someone else's point of view, they may think different. So I can't necessarily, um, yeah, I can't necessarily give that too much credence. I just have to accept it for what it is and kind of move on with life. And I think in general, anyway, I've kind of been susceptible to that thing that I always have done in in time because i think and i think a lot of it has to do with the fact that i've had not a lot of relationships or a lot, a lot of friendships here in the uk i think whenever i go out outside of my house and i travel on my own usually because i don't really you know go out with people that often who like do the things that i like to do or i tend to prefer to go on my own let me say that to be honest when i go on my own i think because i go on my own so often when i then meet people who are like me or i have a connection with I sometimes overinvest myself into a relationship and sometimes think that we're better friends than we actually are. When sometimes, when I've said, when I've said to other people and I haven't really taken my medicine, but we do it all the time as humans, don't we? We always give people the best advice, but we never take our own advice. And I say to a lot of people all the time, especially my scene friends, people that I've grown up with in the scene, through whether it's from buying trainers, uh, buying streetwear items, going to streetwear events, going to hipster events, going to electronic music events, seeing this particular trendy band or this particular trendy artist. I've always said to those friends that they should never overinvest themselves or they should never be under any illusion that these people are their actual friends. They're not, right? It's all situational. You're all going through this thing at the same time. You're discovering a subculture. You're all coming into your own as adults or as teenagers. Um, you're discovering new interests. You're suddenly starting to this um, craft and chip away and hone your personality. You're just growing as a person. So you're doing it at the same sort of time. But don't expect that is your friend, right? They're not your friend. It's just someone that you've kind of met along your journey. You might, along that journey, meet one or two people that develop into friendships, but don't immediately think they're your friends. I think friendships are things that develop over time, usually, right? Sometimes it's a friendship that you can have specifically in a certain period of time, whether it's at university or whether it's your, you know, you go and study abroad or something, or you go and have a work experience abroad, it could be a very specific kind of friendship, or it could be a friendship that kind of has to develop over time. It, it kind of gets, you know, crafted and chipped away at, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So I think over time, because I've had not a lot of relationships within my immediate social circle, whenever I go out and I meet people that are like me, I end up trying to get too friendly with them, or I think we're too close, we're more close, I've, I think we're a lot closer than we actually are, which we aren't, right? And then you get some brutal surprises or brutal reminders when you try to reconnect that. Mm, nah, they don't really care. They don't really want to know you. Leave me alone. Fuck off, right? So you have to kind of get to that point. And there could be a point where you kind of, you know, 
you start to become a bit sad and you kind of think, oh, it's their fault or how dare they. But really, it's you, right? It's mostly I have to do with you. You're the one that's getting mostly involved. I know what the situation is. I think I'm a very fairly good reader of people. Um, and sometimes I can ignore that fact, especially when you're under the influence and stuff. You can sometimes ignore, you can sometimes get numb to social cues and stuff. So you can sometimes ignore what people are actually saying when they're saying it. Um, but I think I'm in a point now where I'm suddenly starting to realize what people are saying, how they're saying it, and I'm trying to... Um, temper my actions towards that and in general just do my own thing really that's kind of the main premise of the situation you know what i mean just sit there and do my own thing not really worry about what people are saying and doing and kind of go with that going forward so that's been the kind of revelation i've had over the weekend it's been a bit brutal again brutal to say the least when you realize in someone that you got you're talking to oh, a couple of weeks ago i suddenly blocked you but what can you do man what can you do um here's what it is one of those things at least now you know where you stand and you have to go forward with that i guess um again i think it's more brutal than a relationship maybe because you know at least in that sense of the word you always kind of think back in your head that this ain't gonna last right relationships i think we all kind of like, we were kind of a bit fatalistic uh, maybe if you if you're really idealistic you're like oh my god no this is gonna be my husband or wife right but for the most part when it comes to friendships we're when it comes to friendships, we're a little bit more sentimental, right? We we are a bit idealistic in friendships, more so relationships. We sometimes do feel we're going to speak to this person forever and ever, and they're going to be our friend. But sometimes it doesn't really work out that way. You know, it just, just ends. It's just going to end. They're not going to be your friend. They're not going to care about you. You're not going to care about them. Not in any kind of mid way. You're just going to, uh, you know, evolve over time. You're going to grow. You're going to expect different things. And also, there might be that brutal reminder that that, that friend, you might remind them of something that they didn't want to be reminded of. And that's just a brutal part of life. Like, they might see you and see their loser period of life right they might see a stage in their life where they weren't too happy where they were and you're just a constant reminder of how shit life was back then which can be super brutal as well because it might be you it might be me it might be i might be a reminder of how shitty their life was back in the day and they don't want to be reminded of it it's like Ugh. which is brutal it's like kind of it's like you know it's like you it's like you thinking a one night stand with your girlfriend right and trying to text her back the next day it's like no 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 no, no. actually i'm embarrassed i slept with you you know what i mean it's like whoa um that isn't the case obviously but it's just more so of a friendship thing that's kind of deteriorated again sad to see but at least i know where i stand i think as i mentioned to everyone else out there if you are going through those things and you are feeling like you know you're not getting a response to certain people and they're not replying back to you as they would before or they're not giving you much attention i think it's best to just cut your losses and go and build a relationship with others there's plenty of people there's plenty of other people out there especially in our adult especially in our i don't know post 24 years old age who are will ready and willing to connect with you to be your friend um and to share new experiences with you you just need to kind of uh, kind of dive in deep into some new subcultures connect with a new scene uh develop a new hobby and then meet those people with an open heart and then see how that progresses but i don't think um trying to resurrect or trying to fix relationships from the past is a good way or a healthy way to do it I think sometimes you can come into it with your own expectations that they don't ma match theirs and stuff and it can be a bit off. And in general, it can just be a waste of time for both people. In general, just be a waste of time. You both moved on. It's a different thing. Whatever, whatever. There might be some baggage there that no not, no one wants to really come to grips with. That's a bit hurtful and stuff or whatever. And again, they might, you might just remind them of a really bad time that they went through. So, you know, it's what it is, man. You have to kind of just... Um, cut your losses and kind of bounce back from there and that's the kind of position i'm in at the moment um again it could be sad but i think it's good in general i think it's a good limited way and i think just as i said before regarding to the book of stream ownership i'm really in that kind of mode where i'm just taking full accountability for everything that happens um whether it's because you know i know for sure if something great happened to me tomorrow i'd be you know i'd be whacking myself off pretending i'm like you know god's answer to whatever so whenever something bad happens i'm not going to then do the cowardly way and start pointing at all the other external things that might have occurred to lead up to the situation i'm just going to take full accountability i can like most adults should do i want to say men adults should do right adults grown people should do i think on the internet we have a especially nowadays in social media especially nowadays in politics and people getting involved in in, in subjects that are probably far outside of their uh, skill level uh, or their comprehension right they have other things they should concentrate on inside their own home inside their own minds inside their relationship they should focus on first before trying to fix the world i think in that kind of way you know people get too i don't know people overestimate how much influence they have on certain things sometimes it's just what it is right it's just the relationships deteriorate and then it's there as it is you're an adult now what do you do mope in the corner and cry about it or just move on and just kind of you know keep it keep it moving that's what i basically have to do no ill no ill feelings on my end just keep it moving it is what it is you know uh, sometimes situations in life don't work out the way you want it to and i think a great marker of a 
person and of a, of a man or of a person that's growing is not what you say, it's what you do, right? The next couple of steps, and I think that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, having read a lot of philosophy books and kind of tried to fix my life over the last, you know, few years and stuff, it's been a constant battle with that, right? Not trying to say things. You know, that's why I've kind of tempered the way I kind of post stuff on social. I don't really post about my books or about my fitness and stuff. I try to keep that stuff personal because it always felt as if like it was a bit of a show, right? Like, hey, look how much I'm doing. Look how entrepreneurial and how adventurous I am. But really, that's not the name of the game. The name of the game should be about how, what you're doing, right? Like, um, I, 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 exa- I explain it a lot. I relate it sort of to Christianity, right? My parents are ad- adamant, you know, Christians and Sometimes their friends can be a little bit annoying because they're the type of person that goes to Oxford Street and starts shouting at people at stations and stuff. And I always thought that was a bit weird because it was just such a bold proclamation of your faith that you're really setting yourself up for failure, right? Um, if anything, you should be trying to do God's work, quote unquote, quietly, leading your life a certain way so that when people were in the dumps and they were really ref- afraid of where to go next and they were just confused about life they could think about somebody that was doing things well and it all make you pop into their head because they know you just go about life differently you're not in the same circles as them you abstain from gossip you're not involved in drama your relationship seems watertight people will always speak well about you there's certain things that they just recognize as a good person in you and then they'd come to you and then you can start introducing them to whatever doctrine that you're um what you call it based in whether it's religion whether it's a philosophy whatever it may be but the idea of kind of Pumping your chest and saying, "Yo, you know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fit. like with how I was doing on social media. Look at me. I'm fit. I'm fit. I'm fit." I didn't really see that as a good thing, and I think nowadays I started to realize that even though I'm kind of hurting myself sometimes with it because you know there's a lot of opportunities I'm missing, right? By not posting those things on social and not being kind of the the fitness dude, the motivational dude, the self help dude, the reading dude, the intellectual, that intellectually inspiring. No, the yeah, the the aspiring intellect dude. Even though I'm not doing that, it's hurting me. I think in general that temperance came from a good place. I wasn't trying to be self congratulatory, congratulatory, right? Um, don't think that's a good thing. I wasn't trying to pat myself on the back, but now I'm in a place where you know I'm a little bit more assured of where I'm doing, of what I'm doing, and why I'm doing it. And I think I'm going to make a bit more of an introduction now coming forward in the next phase of my kind of social media presence to kind of be a little bit more honest about my shortcomings, about things I'm doing, about things I'm trying to fix and stuff going forward. So that's kind of where I am now, really.